America. We can't accomplish anything this way. What happened with them two? They got married. Don't be reasonable. Shut up, you liar. I don't know what's happened, but I can explain it. You're not getting out of it that easy, you pasteboard slinger. Pay you back, Homer. Oh, oh, Dusty, Dusty. Now look, what's bothering you? That bed. That great big brass bed. If you had no intention of exercising your husbandly prerogatives, why'd you buy that bed? That's it? The bed? Yes! The bed happens to be for the kids, Dusty. With the nights getting colder, they need a warmer place to sleep. So the brass bed is for the boys, and the smaller bed is for Celia! Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? And we could have avoided this little misunderstanding. Come along, senior. This is no place for a lady. Sit down and shut up. Edgar, you get back in your seat. I think we've heard about all the testimony this building can take. So I'm going to decide who gets these sprouts of windles, and that decision is going to be final. This court appreciates the generosity and the kindness of all you good people who have offered to provide homes for these kids and to safeguard their assets. Proves this town's got a heart after all. But after due deliberation and a consideration of all the facts and the merits of the applicants, this court awards Bobby, Clovis, and Celia Bradley to Mr. and Mrs. Russell Donovan. <laughs> That's the order of this court. I don't want to hear a lot of argument about it, and I don't want a half a dozen people coming up here. Homer, I heard you were about to gavel off my kid. That won't be necessary now, since I'm here to claim them. Donovan, thank you for taking such good care of them. My lawyer. He will explain all the whereas's and wherefores. But tell them. Tell them uh, why the kids are mine, with no maybes. May it please the court. I have an order. What would please this court is to see both of you rode out of this town on a rail. <laughs> I don't need no checker pants lawyer to tell me the law. Give me that. They're yours, Wendell. Get yourself and that jack leg out of here before I show you how contemptuous this court can be. <laughs> <laughs> 